Hello and thank you for watching. I'm Ashley Van Dyke with Advantage Software, and on today's video, how to export to RTF, I'm going to show you how you can make an RTF of any file in Eclipse. Exporting to RTF is often needed when you need to transfer your dictionary to your steno machine, or if you need to send an Eclipse file to another reporter or scopist who doesn't use Eclipse, or if you need to send your file to someone who uses an extremely old version of Eclipse like version 4. Creating an RTF in Eclipse is fast and easy, and no matter what file you'd like to make an RTF of, the first two steps are always going to be the same. I'm going to first show you with a transcript file, so I'm going to open up my sample file, and to create an RTF of this file, I'm going to simply go to File and choose Export, and in the bottom right you see that there are several file type formats I can choose from, and the first one that it defaults to is rich text format slash CRE. This is an RTF format that was developed specifically for CAT systems to communicate with one another. This prevents each of the developers from having to write new conversion utilities every time someone changes their file format. All of the CAT systems can export and import RTF files. For this example, I'm going to leave it set to RTF or rich text format slash CRE. And right now, I don't have any specific export location selected, and so it has defaulted to saving into my jobs folder. You see at the top that it says files in Ashley, and currently it's not showing me any files because there are no other RTF files. And so I'm going to go ahead and leave this file in my jobs folder. However, if I wanted to, I could choose any other location on my computer like my desktop or my documents folder instead. I'm going to choose job though and leave it saved in the Ashley folder. And I'm going to call my file sample file ECL since I'm going to make an RTF of the notes as well. You can change the name at the bottom before pressing OK or you can leave it the same as the job. Whatever your preference is and whatever purpose you're making the RTF for is fine. I'm going to press OK to export the RTF. And you see there was a small short status window and I've been returned to my job. And if I go to my file manager under control F, you see that I have the sample file that I have open. If I hit the plus sign next to that, I see that I have a note file, an ECL file, and a dictionary file for that job. And up here I have the sample file ECL, which is the RTF of the ECL file that I made. If I hit the plus sign next to that, you see that it does list the file as an RTF or rich text document. And if I hit explore, you see that in the Windows version of this file, I have the sample file ecl.rtf, and since I have file extensions turned on, I can see the .rtf at the end. And I have my original sample file.dix, sample file.ecl, and sample file.not. I'm going to close out of the file manager, and I'm going to close out of the ecl file, and I'm going to open up the note file for this sample job. I'll press notes and open up the sample file. And in order to make an RTF of the note file, I can do the same thing. I can go to File and Export. And in the bottom right this time, it has defaulted to .txt instead of .rtf, but I can click the drop-down list and just choose RTF instead. And I'm going to change the name of this note file to represent that it is the note file version of the sample file, so I'm going to do sample file not, and I'll press OK. And in this instance, it tells me that the file does not exist and asks if I'd like to create it. I'll hit yes. And now if I go to control F, you see that I have a sample file not. And if I hit plus sign, it's also an RTF. For the dictionary example, I'm going to export my main dictionary since that's much more common. And I'll hit my dictionary icon and press OK to open my main dictionary. And again, to export the RTF, the steps start the same way. I can go to File and then Export. And in this window, I have a drop down list that I can choose from. And I'm going to again choose RTF slash CRE rich text format, which is the default in this window, and press OK. And again, it's going to ask me to save my file in my job folder by default. I'll press OK to confirm that. And I left the name the same, just Ashley again, and if I go to Control F and hit the plus sign next to Ashley, you see that I now have the RTF file that was just created. 
Dictionary RTFs are probably the most common RTFs that are created, as they're frequently loaded onto Steno machines. If you frequently export files to another user or you update your Steno machine frequently and you want your exported files to go to a specific location every time, you can do that using a file location in Eclipse. To access file locations, I'm going to go to my user settings or Alt U, go to the programming tab, double click on file locations. In here, you see that I currently have a line that says export equals and it's set to my jobs folder. That's the default location for exports. However, I can change that if I wish to. In this case, what I'm going to do is create a folder on my desktop for my exported files to go to. So I'm going to put my cursor in my export equals line and click modify. And I'm going to create a folder on my desktop. So I'm going to select desktop and then make new folder. And I'm going to call this Eclipse Exports. I'll hit enter to save that name and Eclipse Exports now shows up here and I can select it and press OK. And you see that now my export line is pointed at my desktop in the Eclipse Exports folder. I'm going to press OK and OK. And if I open up a file again and go to File and Export, I see that at the top it says Files in Eclipse Exports. So it has automatically defaulted to the new folder on my desktop that I made in the file locations window. And for this one, I'm going to go ahead and just leave the name as sample file and press OK. And if I minimize Eclipse, I see that I now have a folder on my desktop called Eclipse Exports. And if I open it up, there's a sample file.rtf that I just made. I'm going to reopen my main dictionary. And as a note, when exporting your dictionary, it's sometimes a good idea to identify it by date so that you can keep track of which file you're installing. If I go to File and then Export and choose RTF CRE and press OK, you see that it's going into my Eclipse Exports folder. And where it says File Name, I can change it to Ashley and append the date. If you run into a situation where you have multiple RTFs all with the same name, it may be confusing which one is your most recent, especially if you're not using a consistent export location. And so if you append your dictionary exports with the date, that'll ensure that you're always loading the correct dictionary onto your writer. I'm going to press OK. And if I minimize Eclipse again and open up my Eclipse exports folder, you see that I have my Ashley 10, 15, 20 RTF. And this way I know that if I have multiple RTFs of my dictionary in here, I'm always uploading the most recent one, and I can delete any that are out of date. Thank you for watching this video about exporting RTF files. It is a common question that we get in tech support. As a reminder, Advantage Software does offer anytime support 24 seven, and tech support can be reached anytime, including weekends and holidays at 772-288 3266. Email support is also available at support at eclipsecat.com. Please reach out to us if you have any questions about Eclipse or any of our other great products. Thank you for watching our videos. If you enjoy them, please hit the thumbs up button and subscribe to our channel and turn on notifications so that you'll be notified when we publish new content. Thank you so much and have a great day!